Hi everyone, today I'm telling you about American sports drama film Ford vs Ferrari is 2019. Shelby and Miles design and test the Ford GT40 MKI prototype at Los Angeles International Airport, working out all of its design flaws until it is race ready. Thinking that Miles is not their ideal driver, Ford opts to send Phil Hill and reached 218 miles per hour, 350.8 kilometers per hour, on the Mulsanne straight before it broke down. Shelby and Miles continue development on the GT40 MK2, but Miles is nearly killed when the car has brake fade during testing. In 1966, Ford Senior Vice President Leo Beebe takes over the racing division, with the intent to continue the program without Miles, but Shelby gives Ford a ride in the car and wagers his own company to convince Ford to agree that if Miles wins the 24 hours of Daytona, he will be allowed to race at Le Mans. Shelby American enters Daytona, but BB has a second Ford entered with NASCAR team Holman Moody supporting it. While the Holman Moody team has quicker pit stops, Shelby clears miles to push his car beyond the 7000 RPM tachometer redline, and he wins the race. At the 1966 24 hours of Le Mans, Miles struggles with a faulty door during the first lap, but after team engineer Phil Remington fixes it with a mallet, Miles begins to set lap records while catching up to the Ferraris. While racing with Ferrari driver Lorenzo Bandini, piloting Ferrari's new prototype 330p3, Miles experiences brake failure and has his brake system replaced during his pit stop. Enzo Ferrari protests the move, but Shelby convinces race officials that the replacement is legal. Miles and Bandini once again do it on the Mulsanne straight until Bandini blows his engine, eliminating the Ferrari from the race. With three four teams in the top positions, BB orders Shelby to have Miles slow down for the other two fours to catch up with him and provide the press with a three car photo finish. Miles is initially against this decision, continuing to set new lap records near the end of the race, but decides to let Ford have their way on the final lap. Ultimately, McLaren is declared the winner on a technicality, with Miles placing second and Ronnie Bucknam in third, leading Shelby to confront Beebe for robbing his victory, but Miles is grateful to Shelby for allowing him to race at the man's. Two months after Le Mans, while testing the J car at Riverside International Raceway, Miles once again experiences brake failure and is killed in the resulting crash. Six months later, Shelby pays Miles' widow Molly and son Peter a visit and gives Peter a wrench that Miles threw at him before winning an SCCA race at Willow Springs in 1963. A textual epilogue reveals that Ford continued its winning streak at Le Mans in 1967, 1968, and 1969 while Miles was posthumously inducted into the Motorsports Hall of Fame of America in 2000. In 1963, Ford Motor Company Vice President Lee Iacocca proposes to Henry Ford to, to purchase the cash-strapped Italian sports and racing car manufacturer Ferrari as a means of boosting their domestic car sales through Ferrari's participation in the 24 Hours of La Mans. Owner Enzo Ferrari. Thank you for subscribe. See you later.